back to Renegade Labs. Yeah, I'm Grace Race from Carnage. I have no idea how precisely I made it, but I seem to have stumbled upon a recipe for homemade OxyClean. And yes, it's in a nice blue bubbling jar right there. The substance that is in OxyClean is known as sodium pericarbonate, which actually contains a bit of hydrogen peroxide in the formula. So, as you can see, I have a 6 volt battery. Some electrolysis equipment going. Now, bubbling is actually from electrolysis, it's from this little air pump here I use to agitate the mix. The electrolyte in there is water mixed with our sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda, and a bit of magnesium sulfate, also known as Epsom salt. And the bluish tint is actually coming from copper from the lines I've been using there. That's just oxidation. You see that white stuff on the edge there? That is actually the sodium or carbonate. Uh, that is the main ingredient in OxyClean. They probably didn't get With all the projects that I worked on involving weapons, why would I have a, a use for OxyClean? Well, you see, stuff contains hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is an oxidizer. So therefore, it can actually be used if correctly, if you use it correctly, to make a rocket fuel of all things. <laughs> no, I do not recommend trying that at home. You'll probably burn your arm off or something. Let's leave it to me, who is doing it at home, but at least I have some training. So, yes, I might be able to scrape up a little bit of this. Might need a knife. Yes, it is hacksaw blade. Um. Oh yeah, and. Never connect two six volt batteries to car. You can end up having to do something like this. Yes, it literally melted straight through my hook and my jar. So it's missing a terminal. So you get a little bit of white stuff out of there. But that is sodium or carbonate. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. So, oh, and one more thing before I go. Um, the primer. I don't believe I mentioned why I have the engine on there. That's just to agitate the mix. That is, the agitation, I believe, is actually what allowed this to form. Because otherwise, it would produce some sodium hydroxide, which is a base, and sulfuric acid, with, I believe, an acid. So, therefore, the reactor should just produce this back to water. I believe it's the agitation which allowed the slow reaction allow the reactor the hydrogen and oxygen there to create this mix. So now this is Angry Mando signing off.